My 50th birthday was last month and my husband purchased this Juki 2010Q for me for my birthday and it finally arrived. So I'm gonna unbox it. This machine is really cool. It sews at 1500 stitches per minute and it's a super heavy duty machine. It's a semi-industrial machine. So I wanted one of these Jukis for a long, long time and uh, I can't wait. But before we get started, my name is Chris O'Neill from Sew the Distance. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing and uh, I hope you check out some of my other videos. So let's get started. Okay, so these are paper scissors. They're not my fabric scissors, don't worry. Because the straps. So we don't have a dealer near us. So we, did, or he did, he ordered it through Amazon. Uh, the nearest dealer is a couple hours away, unfortunately. I've had my eye on this machine for a long time. I saw the Crafty Gemini review it and I'll link her video below. I think it was in uh, 2015. So it's been around for a while. I remember the price was really high back then. Let's see if I can get in here. The scissors are not very sharp. Oh, there's staples too. All right, I'll be right back. Let me get something to get these out. Screwdriver. Let's see. Yay! I finally got it open. Okay, put that back here. Holy cow, that did not want to come out. All right. Let's see what we have. Wow. All right. If you can see that, let's tilt it a little. It's nicely packed. You can see. So let's start taking it apart. There's the instruction manual, some light reading. Definitely we'll keep a hold of that. That's not gonna stay there. We're gonna put that, I don't know, here. There. The knee lift. Yay. Very nice. I love my knee lift on my other machine, my Janome. Some more paperwork. The cord. Can't let one certain puppy get any of this stuff. <laughs> Ooh. The presser foot, nice sleep tucked in there. All right, I think that's all. Oh, here's a bag of accessories. There's oil in there too. I know that these are supposed to be very thirsty machines. You have to oil them often. That. Oh, this is the case, which I saw online is like an accordion. Let's take that out. like that. That's really nice. You can see that. All right, so I'm going to adjust my camera because I want to pull this out and get it up on the table. So I will be with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to lift it out of the box. Here's all the accessories and stuff. I'm going to put it right up here so we can look at it. All right, so this is the table, I assume, at least. Let's take a peek at that. Oh yeah, Ooh, look at that. There's the extension table. So it comes with it, which is always nice because you know, sewing machines don't always come with the extension table. And let me see if I can lift this out. It's super heavy. Yay! Here it is. Take out the front first so you can see it. Oh, so exciting. Put that over there. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. 
right. I'm going to turn it around. So you can get a good look at it. Oh, there it is. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. Uh, I can't wait to use this. I absolutely will be giving you updates. And uh, let's put the extension table on it and the cover so you can see how it all looks. And I'm going to play with it and see how it sews. I have no idea, by the way, where this is going to live in my sewing room. Uh, so this should be interesting. Put this over here for now. All right, extension table. Pull all the legs out. I think I got, oh, there's one. There it is. Look how pretty. Wow, it has a ton of space here. This bed has a lot of space. I, it's super slippery for free motion quilting. I can't wait, wait to play with this. I hope you enjoyed this video of the unboxing. I haven't, I don't know much about it at all. So once I do, I will absolutely give you some more information about it and tell you what I think of this beautiful machine. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since I did the unboxing portion of this video, and I wanted to give you a little bit of update in this video. I have my notes here, by the way, of what I want to talk about. So uh, it's been a crazy recording week. I've had a lot of issues, so which I'll talk about in my March update. But in the meantime, we'll talk about my Juki. It is a beautiful machine, and we're becoming friends. It took a little bit, especially coming from my Janome, which you can see back here. And I am going to keep both machines and use them. They do do different things. Like, for example, the Juki only does a straight stitch. And, of course, my Janome has a whole bunch of stitches. So when I compare the two, I kind of think of, like, this is, the Juki is definitely almost like just a big, bad, in a good way, strong machine. And even though I love my Janome and it, it can sew through a lot of layers and it's wonderful, it's very much, in comparison, a... A slower machine and not as I don't know gruff or strong okay especially when you use this so there's a few things that I love about this there's a few things I don't love about it so the first thing I want to talk about is the threading it is different than your standard machine because this is an industrial machine and the threading is very very different now threading the upper part I had no problem getting used to that was pretty easy it took me a few tries but I got it uh, the needle threader I am still playing with. I cannot seem to get it. I've watched videos. I've asked questions in groups. I've done it all and I cannot quite figure it out. I think I've threaded it with the needle threader maybe three times. I'm getting better at it, but it's tricky, at least for me. I also am getting used to the bobbin, uh, which is underneath. So you have to use that flange and hold it up where my Janome has a drop-in bobbin. So I'm a little bit spoiled with that and that's taken a lot of getting used to, but that's something I can learn. As far as the other things I don't really care for about this machine is the instruction manual is very vague. It's just not detailed and it fell apart. I don't know if I can find here. It's over here. So as you're going through an instruction manual, of course you're folding it back and you're looking, you know, and flipping pages and my book fell apart, which really irritated me. It's minor, but it irritated me. Uh, another thing is it's extremely loud. This this is a very loud machine, especially compared to my Janome. Uh, and when you cut the thread, the thread cutter, it sounds like a guillotine coming down and, and cutting like, I don't know, cording or something. It just goes kathunk really loud. Uh, so those are some things that I'm getting used to that I don't exactly love. I also feel like there's in this realm of industrial machines, there's this attitude out there that you should just know how to use it. And I think that's really tough because maybe it's because the Janomes really hold your hand through the process, uh, but the Jukis seem to be more almost like an exclusive club in a way. Like if you don't know how to use it, then you shouldn't be using it or something. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird sense that I'm getting. That doesn't mean I don't love the machine and that I'm not keeping it, but it is something I think that people should be aware of that nobody really talks about in the videos when they talk about these machines. There are resources out there. There's the Juki Junkies and there's a few other video sources out there, but overall I do get that impression. It's like 
it's an industrial machine and it's, it's basic and you should be able to use it and know how to use it without much instruction. And that is completely my opinion. I'm sure there's other people that are thinking I'm crazy right now, but that's, that's how I'm learning about this machine and this is the attitude I'm seeing out there in the industry about this machine. But by the way, no one's been rude. It's just, I don't know, it's an error or an attitude or something. And personally, I'm just not a fan of that. As far as the things I love about this machine is it has a very deep throat space, okay? And I love that. It is fast, it's scary fast. It goes so fast and you can really piece very quickly. And now that I'm getting used to it, I'm loving that part of it. Uh, also, the foot that comes with it is a scant quarter inch and I love that because I tend to use a scant quarter inch and it's hard to find a foot like that. And this is, you just go right up to the edge and it is a scant quarter inch and that's awesome to me. Lastly and most importantly probably is that the stitch quality is there. It is on point. It is a beautiful stitch. Now I've used the even feed foot to do some quilting and it turned out beautiful and I've used the, of course the basic foot, the piecing foot. I haven't used the free motion quilting foot yet but I plan to. My guess is it's all gonna work beautifully. So as far as quality goes, this is a heavy, heavy machine. It's heavy duty. I think it's gonna last a very, very long time if not forever. It's not computerized so you don't have to worry about any of that and it does its job. There are some things like I said that I'm not a fan of but overall I really do love this machine and I'll be happy when it's in its own home. This is on a folding table so it jiggles. You can hear it when I run it but as we remodel the sewing room and putting cabinets and custom uh, tables and stuff of course that's not going to be a problem. So for now it's great. I do use both machines. I like the setup that it's kind of you know, perpendicular to each other because I can just roll over to one machine and roll to the next and use them both. I'm falling in love with the Juki, but it is taking some time. So I hope this video helped you if you are thinking about a Juki. Of course, there's tons of other things that we could talk about, like the uh, thread stand. You can use the great big thread spools, which I love too, without any kind of extension or anything like that. And all of the mechanisms, like the back stitching is very easy. It's just a lever over here that you push down to go back and I love all that and it does cut the thread and there's some wonderful features about it, but it is a very basic machine. I think it's worth the money and I'm very happy that I have it. So I hope this helped you and gave you some insight on, you know, what I think of the Juki. I'll be giving you updates about it as I learn more, especially with the free motion quilting. So anyway, have a great day. I hope you take some time to sew and I'll see you soon. Bye.